Today, we're gonna be replacing this differential in this <laughs> torn apart 325 CI. This has a gear ratio of, oh, it's backwards, but 2.93. And the one that's in the car, I think is a 3.9 something. So uh, to get the lower uh, gear ratio for the electric motor that's gonna go in here, we're using this. This came out of, a, I think, a 2006 330 manual transmission car automatics are different so uh so you know so anything 330 manual or any manual car will have a higher gear ratio so once that's in the car i can replace all the brakes put all the brakes back um put the put the differential back in i don't know if you can see anything back up in there but but anyway, as you can see, I've already taken off the flange off the differential here. The drive shaft bolts onto here. Yours may be different. This had a universal joint. Some BMWs have like a CV joint here, but same idea. These bolts need to come off. Half shafts off. These bolts there and on that side. Now I'm hoping there's enough slack where I can just move this CV shaft in a bit. And then, um, then I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. It looks something like that. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but. I go in here. I'm not sure. If this is necessary or not, but as you can see, I put the jack under the rear suspension just to lift it up a bit, just to give me more clearance to get this socket into that bolt. So, uh, yeah, you may need to lock the shaft in place because now with the drive shaft off, this is going to spin freely. Normally it would be in park and this wouldn't move, but I might have to lock it somehow, put the, put the bolts back into the hub and lock it with some kind of, with this thing, you know, just stop it from moving around. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, this is what I have set up here. So that will stop the the axle from spinning. It's a long bar and it's jammed underneath the car, the body of the car. So that's it. Well. Sometimes a little bit of heat won't hurt. Now be careful, normally there's a gas tank here, but the gas tank's gone. But you'll be fine anyway. Just a little bit of heat where the threads are. You wanna heat the hub, not the bolt. Let's see if that's good enough. Oh yeah. stay out of the way I hope anyway so I'm gonna do the other side now and uh, I'll get back to you okay that's disconnected I have 
a tie wrap here just holding the half shaft up out of the way same thing on that side and there's a little bit of clearance there so now <clears throat> I think it's only three bolts there's a bolt here where is it right there and there's two bolts in the front there's one there and there's one over here so I'm gonna put a jack here to support this and I'm gonna take those three bolts out okay we'll start with this bolt here which I'm sure it's metric but I don't have a metric wrench that big so 13 16 fits perfectly there so I'm gonna put that wrench right there to hold it in place while well, I'll take the nut off on the other side mm, it's not gonna work it's a, it's a 21 mil but uh, this brackets in the way so I'm gonna try to take it I'm gonna put the wrench on this side and take the bolt out from the other side let's see here if this is There you go, yeah. So now you know, 13 16 is 21 millimeter. Well, I've been pretty lucky with these bolts so far. Let's see if this comes off. right out perfect here's the nut okay well, I'll just leave that loose there now I'm gonna work on the front ones so these were 18 mil and they came out very easily with an air gun so now this thing's loose so now I should be able just to take that back bolt out and lower this whole thing Simple as that. <laughs> Disconnect the sway bar. The sway bar is in the way. Well, I guess the sway bar had to come out. I, now I could I could drop the CV shafts down. Now, let's see if the differential will come out. Uh, that'd be nice. It would. <laughs> again all right
Whew. There she is, boys. What a pain in the ass.